Hi, welcome to my little course about surviving and thriving in a big organization. I came up with a lot of these tips based on many large organizations I've worked in over the years in many different roles from being a programmer to being a corporate strategy person working in mergers and acquisitions and also being a consultant on the outside, an industry analyst and now working as a sort of researcher of how large organizations improve and talking with people. Now, a lot of what I go over may seem cynical and maybe even a little nefarious, which is not my intention. My intention is more that if you're working in a large organization, there are often things you can do to make sure that you're happy, that you're thriving, and that you're surviving. And that has a lot to do with understanding what the corporate culture is like, what the expectations are, and adapting and even filtering out a lot of the lore you hear about how to survive and thrive in startups and small companies, and how to be an ambitious, really driven person on your own. A lot of the times in large organizations, that's not what the game is. The game is a lot more about making sure that the people involved, the employees, the shareholders, benefit from what's happening. I mean, the basics of a large commercial organization is that you want to take in more money than you spend, and that's your profit. That's kind of like the whole game. So if you have that perspective as an employee there, you want to figure out how you run your own sort of business and organization. A lot of these things are, as Merlin Mann calls them, thought technologies. They're tools and tactics that you can use if they seem applicable or not. They're not necessarily good or bad. They're just stuff you have in your tool chest. I would also use a lot of these tips not as the complete list of things you should do. You should still also focus on all of that career management, doing a good job stuff, the technical nature of what you're doing, the actual way you do your job. But these are some additional tools that you can have and some things to be aware of as you go on in your career. Some things that are easy to miss and I think don't get talked about very much. I hope you'll find them helpful, and let's jump right into it. Oh, but one last thing. I should introduce myself. I'm Michael Cote. Most everyone calls me Cote. You can call me whatever you like. That's who I am. Have fun.